everybody, welcome to a Thursday morning mic talk. It is good to have you with me. I love you guys. Praying for you. So encouraged by all of your letters and your words in the when I meet you on the trail or in the store. Um, phone calls, text messages, messages you're leaving for us at our website, songandsword.com. Prayer requests. Uh, often the prayer requests come in as you're praying for me, and I appreciate that. God bless you guys. Today's a special day because it is the second birthday of this little girl. This is her first birthday. This is uh, Mila Joy. She is the youngest daughter of Caleb and Jess, my son and daughter who live in Arizona. Um, unfortunately, because of just the way life is uh, the last three months, um, we're not going to be able to be out there with her for her birthday. It kind of breaks my heart a little bit, but um, I'm praying for Mila Joy. I'm celebrating her today. This is, we were out there the last time. This is a really cool I love this photo because uh, <laughs> when you say to Mila Joy, smile, she kind of scrunches up her nose. So this is uh, probably about four or five, six weeks ago, and uh, uh, longer than that, about 12 weeks ago. But Mila Joy is my birthday girl today, my granddaughter. And really, she is aptly named. She brings joy into a room. She's laid back. She's chill. She's just joyful. And so today, uh, in uh, honor of her, um, and this is what I do, and I, I don't know if, um, I don't know exactly how the prayers of blessing in the Old Testament work, but um, I do know that the parents and grandparents, the older ones prayed, they laid hands over their kids and they prayed blessing over them. The biggest picture of this is Genesis 49 when um, Israel blesses his sons. Uh, but. I know that prayer works, and I know that there's something significant about praying the same prayer over and over again. So for Israel, I always pray over him, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. Uh, for Sophie, I pray for wisdom. I pray a prayer for her for wisdom. And for Mila Joy, I pray that she would be a bringer of joy. So today I'm going to read um, the last, the end of Jude. Remember Jude? is uh, the book near the end of the, of the New Testament written by Jesus' earthly brother, Jude. It was, it was a common name in the first century. It was short for Judas. For obvious reasons, he probably went by Jude. But he's mentioned in Mark chapter 6, verse 3, as Judas, one of Jesus' brothers that are named there. So we have at least two of Jesus' earthly brothers, Jude and James, who wrote by, uh, uh, books of the Bible. But I want to focus on the end um, of Jude 22, what's probably in your Bible labeled as, I'm sorry, not Jude 22, Jude 24. Jude 24, he'll get it right. Is it Jude 1 24 or just Jude 24? Yes, there's only one chapter, okay? Jude 24 says this. This is how um, Jude ends his letter about the last days and encouraging Christians. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forevermore. Amen. With great joy. That's, that's, who, uh, that's, the, that's the end of the story in Jesus Christ. That's how it all ends. The joy of the Lord. This eternal Creator God, Savior, uh, majesty, dominion, authority, uh, by his work, because of his ability to keep us from stumbling and to present us blameless. This, this God, who is everything, has in the palm of his hand my granddaughter and me and you. And... Uh, on this Thursday, as I celebrate my granddaughter Mila Joy's birthday, I want us to celebrate this prayer that Jude prays. There is a God who not only loves us, but has taken steps through Jesus Christ and by the power of his Holy Spirit to keep us from stumbling and to present us blameless. That is, um, is a good news today. And I don't know why I'm teary-eyed, but I just let tears flow when they come. Maybe they're tears of joy as I think about my granddaughter and I think about me and you. There's going to come a day where we stand before this great and awesome God 
with great joy. And it's going to be because of the work that he's done to keep us from stumbling and to present us blameless, no sins, through Jesus Christ. That is a reason for joy. God bless you guys. Have a joyful day. We'll see you tomorrow.